Hey guys, Matt with the truckers over here, and as you can see, I got an oversized load, and here are the five things I hate about owning oversized load. Number one thing I hate about hauling oversized load is just the sheer time that you waste doing it. You gotta put your signs on, you gotta put your flags on. Sometimes it takes extra to carve it. Uh, if it's wide or whatever, it takes more time to strap it down a lot. A lot of times you gotta wait to get live loaded. Usually an oversized load is not a drop in the hood. And you gotta read your permits. You gotta do this, you gotta do that. You gotta stop at every scale. And so the number one thing is just the sheer time that it wastes on an oversized load. Hey guys, number two. Number two is the fact that it does not pay that much more. As I stated earlier in my last uh, tip, or last point, it it wastes so much time, and that time is not made up. If you get paid a little bit more doing it, I will say that. But having to park early at night, having to deal with reading the permits, stopping to get the permits, you don't get paid for any of that. So uh, it's really, it's not compensated by the, the extra money that you get, unfortunately. Now, here at Dawes, they always take care of me. I got no complaints. But it, it basically, with any company, it's going to pay just as much as if you're hauling a regular load that you can run at night and all that. Number three. Number three is you can't run at night. You can't run during rush hour in certain... Uh, in big cities, which is really a pain because a lot of times, like today, I get to a big city around three o'clock or four o'clock, can't run through that city. By the time I am able to run after rush hour, it's dark. And especially in the winter time, this is a big pain when you're hauling oversized in the winter time because it gets dark early. You, you know, and you can't run a half hour, but a half hour before sunrise and a half hour after sunset and I got a big ticket for running after sunset and I mean they'll be down to the minute oh, I was 32 minutes after sunset I was pulling into the truck stop and they still gave me a big ticket for it so please believe they will do it brings me on to number four and that is the routing Diff you, with an oversized load you have to stick right to your route and you can get in big trouble. You can get a big ticket if you're off route. If you got a over height load, you got to risk hitting a low bridge and everything. If you take a wrong turn, you got to figure it out or, or just, you know, a lot of times you just get caught making a, a wrong turn. Could be a several thousand dollar fine if you're doing a heavy haul. So, number four is just the pain uh, having to stick with the routing and and uh, you can't make a wrong turn or else you're getting in big trouble. Life is really just the accumulation of all this. It, it really puts a mental strain on you. you you're worried about that I make a wrong turn. Is that a low bridge? Uh, can I sneak through this town before rush hour? Can I you know, make it to the next truck stop without uh, running at after sunset and after dark. Um, did, did I read my permits correctly? The, 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 uh, is the speed limit 55 for oversized loads in this state? A lot of states it is. And so you gotta read your permits uh, carefully, make sure. But all that accumulation really causes to give you a big headache and really ends up being a big pain so that's the five things i hate about oversized loads don't mind doing them my company wants me to do them that's what pays their bills i don't mind it i don't want to do every load though and uh and they compensate me good and everything and i think if you do them all if you do every you know nothing but heavy haul and oversized loads you can make some pretty good money but as far as every once in a while like i said that doesn't bother me do them every once in a while 
but at the same time you don't end up really that appreciable amount of difference in your uh, in your paycheck at the end of the year and everything it's uh it's just basically not really worth the headache in my opinion now for a lot of drivers that have greater skill than me or whatever more patience hey very, very well may be worth worth the extra extra money and everything so that's the five things i hate about oversized loads matt with tips for truckers have a great day